Happy Wednesday, everyone. Halfway through the week and so close to the holiday break. I'm Stella Chung, and in today's fix, you can now skip the death animations in the Callisto Protocol, a Risk of Rain remake has been announced, and Overwatch 2 devs go into how their skill-based matchmaking works. We've got all of the juicy details for you, so let's get right into it. While the gruesome death animations in the Callista Protocol were shown off as one of the coolest parts of the game, there's a new patch that allows you to skip the gnarly death animations. The Callista Protocol was basically the spiritual successor to Dead Space, but fell short in expectations with performance issues, especially on PC. This new patch streamlines the combat system, allows you to heal faster, which really makes a difference since in Callisto you have to kneel and wait a good amount of time to inject yourself, switch your weapons faster, and now even skip death animations. While the death animations are well done and gruesomely entertaining, some of the animations take way too long to finish and leave you feeling frustrated in waiting for it to be over so you can restart that segment. While I appreciate the skip button, it's interesting to see this implemented since Callisto's season pass includes 13 new Jacob death animations. This season pass is a $30 edition that does include story DLC, but it's an interesting call to skip animations when that was one of the points advertised in the season pass. In some surprising news, Gearbox and Hapu Games announced Risk of Rain Returns, a remake of the original 2013 Risk of Rain game. This remake will be built from the ground up with new enhanced visuals and content made for release on PC and the Nintendo Switch in 2013. Risk of Rain Returns has an updated code base and the developers are implementing features and lessons they learned from creating Risk of Rain 2. Hapu Games co-founder Duncan Drummond said, quote, as we chart our future as developers, it was important to us that we look back on our early work. Risk of Rain Returns is a small token of our appreciation to this incredible community. We hope everyone is as excited about the future as we are. Risk of Rain Returns will have revamped multiplayer, new survivors and survivor abilities, items, and monsters. If you're a fan of the Risk of Rain series, keep an eye on this remake in 2023. Skill-based matchmaking has been a hot topic amongst FPS games and gamers recently, and Overwatch 2 is not exempt from the conversation. Blizzard released a blog post today on how the sequel's matchmaking system works. According to the blog post, the matchmaking rating, or MMR, rises over time if you win more games against players of your current MMR. And it isn't just competitive mode that uses MMR. Blizzard specified that it's all their game modes that look at MMR when forming a match. Now, your MMR will only be adjusted if you win or lose a game, or if you come back after not playing for a long time. It's important to note that your rank is not the same as your MMR, so at the beginning of a season when ranks get lowered, your MMR does not. Blizzard also explained they changed the importance of initial matches for new players so they could be put into their MMR faster. When a player wins more than 50% of their matches, their MMR increases faster and is deemed balanced when a player has a 50% win rate. I'm not quite sure I'm a fan of this implementation, but what do you think? How do you feel about skipping the death animations in Callista Protocol? And will you be playing the Risk of Rain remake? Let us know! I'm Stella Chung, and now that you're all caught up on the news, don't forget to sign up for IGN Rewards and enter into our sweepstakes. We have two going on right now, Survive to Escape and our Callista Protocol sweepstakes where we're giving away an HB custom PC, a pair of C's custom Nikes, and the collector's edition of the Callista Protocol game. We also have our Halo for the Holiday sweepstakes presented by Jazzwares going on right now, where 15 winners will receive a Halo prize pack including a Halo premium helmet, Halo figures, and more. There are more details in the description. And for our IGN Plus members, don't forget to claim your free game keys for Clang 1 and 2, Blood Rain, Terminal Cut, Onsen Master, Tiny Troopers, and more. We're still running our special on IGN Plus where you can get a year membership for only $39.96. And be sure to download the IGN app to stay up to date with us, subscribe to The Daily Fix on Snapchat, and of course, for all things gaming, keep it right here at IGN.